how are you feeling ahead of Senegal? Look, and 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 more importantly, what does Gareth do? Who does he start with? Um, Ali mm. and I have been debating it for the first two hours of the yeah. the program. How do you think he he'll go? What do you think his lineup is going to be, Gab? Especially midfield up front. I think it's it's so difficult because against Iran, Sterling was on fire. Yep. Saka was on fire, scoring two goals. Yep. Then they play the USA, no one performs. Then they play Wales and Foden's on fire, Rashford's on fire. I, I really don't know, well because will you go against public demand and drop Foden? I don't see that. Um, he likes Sterling. Sterling's a big game player, but Rashford's got three goals. Can you drop Rashford? You know, so it, it's going to be difficult. But what will happen is whoever he does decide to play, I feel will have enough to beat Senegal. I watched them the other day in a hotel. When I was poorly out, I was still working, you know, uh, making my notes about the football. And Senegal looked decent, you know. They've got some um, good individual players. I like Saar yep. from um, Watford. He won the penalty. He was a threat. Kula Bali looked strong. Yep. Um, Idrissa Gay midfield looked um, decent as well. But all round as a team, I feel England have got too much for Senegal. If they, you know, respect them, don't um, take it for granted that they'll beat them easily. But I do think England um, will have enough to beat them. I agree. Oh, I, I don't know what you're thinking yourself, but it's I mean, I, 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 yeah, oh, it will be. It absolutely will be. But you look at the record and we hit with all these stats from right here, and it's amazing. I mean, England have played African opposition 20 times in friendlies and competitive games and never lost. You know, they've, they've won 14 and drawn six. And the thing, and I, I think it is a big thing as well, and, and Gabby touched on it there. They've got some very, very good players, Senegal. Very good players. In fact, 10 of them play in England. So, as much as it's a World Cup game, you know, the English lads will know the Senegal players as well. Um, and I don't have any doubt they'll treat them with respect. You mentioned the smelly, the smelly um, Sar the, yeah. on, on the left-hand side. I thought he was excellent and he might have been the best player, particularly in the first game. I was saying to Ali earlier on, Gabby, he played against uh, the Netherlands and De Ligt played in a right and a three Seven. and he, he, he destroyed them. Yeah, he he absolutely destroyed them. And we've not seen De Ligt since. So you're right to mention they've got some very, very good players. But you fancy England just have more than enough for them. As, yeah, as so as guys, as long yeah. as they don't start slow, you know, I think England have got to come out of the blocks yeah. a wee bit smarter, don't you think? I think they will, Alan. I feel that what Gareth Southgate's got now is competition for places and... Even if if he started um, Saka and Sterling and they were having a poor first half, he can bring them off at half time, yeah. say, All right, Foden, Rashford, you're on. He's got a headache, yeah. you know, and, and I feel that the whole of England would probably pick different forward lines. Some people will That's say right. Saka deserves to start after the first game. People will say Foden has to start, but it's such a headache that he's got a control, Gareth Southgate, <laughs> but if they perform you know, you'd, you'd back them to go through against That's Senegal. That's what the boys, the, the substitutes have, have, have given Gareth, as I say, that kind of, you know, pleasant dilemma, if you like. The substitute for opening game, Rasha comes on, scores, Gulli scores, Foden plays well, then he starts to the same two boys against USA, a bit quieter. Then, obviously, Rashford, I thought, was outstanding, as was Foden in the last game there <clears throat> against Wales. But do you know where we are now, Alan? Whoever he plays up front, you know, we, we, can, we might have a discussion about it and say, well, OK, he's going with Saka. I would maybe have gone with Rashford. Yeah. Or, but there's no... You, you, you can't say, well, he should have done that. He must... You know, how can he not do that? Because the substitutes have given him, yeah, as no, I say, a nice dilemma. No, no matter if he played... If he played um, Saka and Sterling, no one can say anything. That's my point. He, he, he'll say, well, these these two performed yeah. in the first game when we won 6-2. Yeah. So um, he, he, he'll stand by his decisions and... Someone, you know, some people in the um, the public are going to be upset. You I know, that I still Foden's not starting or Rashford's not starting. I still think the biggest question mark is whether he starts Jordan Henderson, right? Yeah. I, 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 I really do. Um, you know, whether he goes with, with, you know, we were talking about Henry earlier on, whether he goes 4 3 3 and he plays kind of race a little bit. I deeper. think he will because you have to respect Senegal. You can't be going yeah. full force. And people are saying, oh, you could play, you know, Saka, um, Rashford. Kane and Foden in the 10. He's yeah. not going to do that. But you heard you know, Henry he's Winter play earlier. Get Henderson Rice. Henry Ellis so said, you know, England have got to, you know, get on the front foot. And I think if you play Bellingham Rice uh, and, you know, I, I don't. I, 
up front on the left. Uh, Foden's got to play, surely. But Henderson, yeah, but I don't think he's going to play Rice like and Bellingham. I think is too. Uh, sorry, with the greatest respect to him, I think it's just too defensive. But I, I think he will see Bellingham as, you know what, give him more license to go forward. You know, you've seen it against Wales. You know, he was making a lot of runs forward. So I, I think he will play Rice and Henderson. I think he will respect what Saar offers. Yeah. You know, Henderson can help um, double up on Saar as well. So I don't see him going ultra-attacking, not at all. It's funny, I said it as well. I've, I've been seeing it for a couple of days since the last, uh, I think it was a Friday that England played Wales. I, I, I think Gabby's got a point, but a lot of people, understandably, want England to, to go for it. And I think they will to a certain degree. But with them playing a back four, I think he, he enjoys, Gareth enjoys the security of having a Henderson alongside Rice on the pitch and, and, I, and, I, and I, I take your point but I, I just think he, he, he's comforted by that fact and I think that's the way he'll go So Gabby you've been grassed up mate what, what have you said about Bale the words got back to me no, be, Before the tournament started Al I made a, um, a statement that the Welsh fans upset with I said no Welsh player gets in England's best 30 players and I've been proven right haven't I this tournament so that's all I've said. And Bale against England was not fit. You know, I thought he was very selfish. Um, if I was Rob Page, I know he's Mr. Wales, <coughs> Gareth Bale, but you must see him in training. He's not fit enough to play. He started the game against England and he was playing walking football the whole first half and then come off in the um, at half-time injured. For me, that's selfish. When you could have played Johnson, you could have played other players, you would have been 100% fit and added something you don't know Paige might have said to him, go on, Gareth, see what you like. Give, it, give us an hour. See what you like. He might have been carrying something. But, well, he's definitely carrying something. I, I, I'm watching the game, right? Uh, and in 15, 20 minutes into the game, I'm looking at Bale. Just, I'm, I, I just kind of watched him for two minutes to see his movement. And he was holding the kind of inside of his left thigh. And I'm, you know, that kind of area in there. Mm. He, 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 was, he, he was running around like O'Hara, Billy Ricky. He was. That's, that's <laughs> how bad he looked. <laughs> yeah. He, he was uh, <laughs> reverse. Not quite Jamie. Jamie's got a reverse gear now. But he, he, he certainly wasn't moving well.